Uh, Jeff Barker, I think he's a bit of a fan of that tune as well, aren't you, Jeff? I am. I know it started out as a Rolling Stones tune, of course, which is why Mick Jagger and Keith Richards get a credit on it. But uh, I just love that. I love that band. Oh, they're really, really good. Anyway, how's Jeff? Are you are you Christmased up yet? Well, today I bought the Christmas tree in, stuck it in the barrel. My wife will decorate it tomorrow, not because I'm delegating it to her, but she won't let me do it. So we've got the tree up in the lounge and uh, it's, it smells great. We always have a real one, you know. I love that pine smell tomorrow morning oh, when we wonderful. come down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really good. I, I, it's, it's not one of those things, you know, the early Christmas row, the creative differences over the tree's appearance. No, no, no. We, uh, I have to get all the decorations out, obviously, and get them down, <laughs> sort them out and... She sticks them all up so uh, and does a wonderful job every year, I have to say. So there we are. Fantastic. So is uh, rock and roll alive and well at the coming towards the end of a, a rather strange year? Yeah, it is really. There's no, unfortunately, not very much alive and well. In fact, not at all. That's a, loads and loads of live gigs. I've had gigs cancelled, but the, the whole professional musician I was talking to, my good friend Daryl Hyam, he's, he reckons he's lost over £15,000 worth of work this last year, which and he's not alone. Professional musicians found it really, really hard, so yeah, let's just hope and pray next year it all gets back to some sort of normality and people can go out who are you know, in the creative arts, and uh, you know, whether it's music or theatre or whatever, as well as everybody else, but particularly there, um, because they haven't been getting a lot of help, really, and, uh, you know, let's hope they can get out and make some money and people can go and see live music again. How great will that be? Well, that'd be pretty good. The, 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 I mean, the only, if there is a silver lining to the cloud, it means that loads of people have been spending time writing and recording and there's there's so much new material coming out at the moment. That's very true. It's absolutely right. And, of course, a lot of these bands, I mean, Daryl and others have been doing it, have been doing stuff on you know, um, virtual concerts and Zoom and all the rest of it. So, yeah, they haven't been sat still, so we're going to get a welter of stuff next year, I think, which will be great. Yeah, we look forward to that, definitely. Uh, you've been busy as well, haven't you? have been talking to your sh showbiz pals. <laughs> yeah, old Shaky. I've known Shaky for 45 years. Amazing. 45 years! Yeah, he's, um, he's another one who should have had a... Well, we'll talk about it. You'll hear it in a minute. Uh, he has got an amazing couple of releases out, an anthology of his whole career, because he was the most successful singles artist of the 80s, as you will know. And uh, all that stuff's come out, uh, the hits, uh, greatest hits, triple CD and all the rest of it. So I caught up with him and had a, a chat about with tracks on the album, played some tracks off the album, which are coming up. And also, of course, had to speak about... Uh, his Christmas number one and uh, his trip to Lapland and meet Father Christmas. Anyway, that's all coming up. An exclusive interview with Shaky, and here he is. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Shaky. How are you? Fine. Hard at it. Getting involved with the uh, the book pack and that. Getting involved with everything, from photographs, ideas, all that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it uh, keeps us off the streets. Well, of course, you should have been sort of, not quite literally, but on the streets. Certainly on the road at the moment, shouldn't you? you had tours and yeah. things lined up. I know, but that dreaded, uh, it stopped everything. Uh, but we have been in the studio before the, the, the COVID uh, came and we've started a, an album. It's, uh, you know, it's a kind of a demo stage at the moment, but, uh, but we've been full at it and I've enjoyed the project and uh, very, 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 very pleased. Well, let's talk about the project. Um, quite apart from the fact 40 years this year since your first hit single, <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah, I know. Time flies, doesn't it? <laughs> Time flies when you're rocking and rolling. Um, I have to say, I was absolutely staggered when I saw your well, two releases. You've got Singled Out, your amazing singles collection, which is going to satisfy every fan you, you've ever had. All your singles on uh, a, a fantastic triple CD, double LP set. But this unbelievable anthology, which I think, apart from Elvis, I can't think of anyone who's had a 19 CD set issued with just about everything they've ever done on it. 266 tracks. And, uh, on the uh, single out, there's 54 tracks on there, and of yeah. course then there's the vinyl. 26 tracks on there with a bit of commentary uh, of what, how I come to record them, kind of stuff. The anthology is called Fire in the Blood. Uh, the new single, Wild at Heart. What a great song. I could, you know, I could see that being a massive country hit in, you know, in the USA, Nashville. It's got that. It's kind of country rock. I've been doing interviews for, for Scotland and Ireland, and they, they've really taken to the track. They really love it. It's, it's women basically having the freedom to do and be what they want to be. Shaking Stevens and Wild at Heart, that is just a great song. His new single, taken from the CD book pack, Fire in the Blood, 
along with another new song he told me about. Before that, there was a, uh, I Need You Now as well. Uh, with, there's a video for that. What a great song that is. And I've, I've got to say to you, you, your vocals, you are in great voice. And the vocal on that... I could actually see that being a big hit single, so I don't know if you've got any plans for that in the new year, but, uh, you know, that could really take off. I, I don't think it's one to, to, to uh, smother, is it, really? Not I think really. It, it'll, it'll pop up again. Oh, I could definitely see that being a big hit sometime. New song, but with an almost 50s feel to it, Shaky and I Need You Now, from his 19-CD book pack, Fire in the Blood which on one of the discs includes something for the very first time ever, as far as his career is concerned. There is also a, a live concert as well. Went to uh, Germany, Austria and many other countries Okay. and uh, came back and finished, finished the, uh, the tour off in the UK. Right. That was, that was 2019. And from that live concert last year, here's Shaky with an update of his second number one from 1981, Green Door. Now that's how to rework one of your old hits but still keep it sounding great. Green Door from the CD Shaky Live on the brand new book set. A second number one after This Old House. Both of which were produced by my much missed radio buddy and presenter of The Rocker Returns on this very station in the early 90s, Stu Coleman, who put Shaky's band together at that time and also played bass himself, as you will hear in a moment. There's also a concert in the early days. Uh, there's one that I did with the Stuart and BJ Cole that was in 1980. That's on there. Is that the uh, the one the BBC in concert you did? Yeah. Well, that was great because that was the very first band that Stuart put together with you, wasn't it? That was amazing. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. With Mickey, I think it was Vicky G on there as well. Uh, yeah. Certainly, Garen Watkins. Do you know? I thought of immediately when I saw this. I thought of Stuart and Mickey because we've lost both of them, have we not? In in fairly recent times, and uh, they'd have loved to have seen all this out. I would imagine. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the uh, when you listen to that that guitar solo from Whoa. Mickey, it, it's phenomenal. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Takes your head off. Yeah, it does. Shaky with that great band who played on all his early hits live in 1980 for BBC Radio One in concert and Hot Dog, his very first hit single, which had charted earlier that year. The whole of that concert's on this set, plus every single one of his albums that were released in the 1980s and four separate CDs called Shaky Rarities. Yeah, well, there's the uh, the session I did with Paul. Uh, Paul Jones, that's on there, the tracks from the Echoes of Our Times uh, that was done live on uh, Paul Jones' show. That did so well for you, didn't it, a couple of years back, and the, the tracks were so well received, and it was a fantastic album. Yeah, it, it surprised a lot of, a lot of people, actually. Yeah. And, uh, of course, the the tracks, as you know, was very close to to, uh, to me with the the family that was down there with as copper miners and that. Your family is a tin copper mining um, heritage from Cornwall. That's right, yeah. Going way back to 18, I think. Got the 22 is in the American charge for six months. Oh, uh, wow. And yeah. uh, the track was sent off to the, the broadsheets and they said, uh, well, who's this? When they... They knew it was. They said, well, it doesn't matter. We, we, we love it. From Echoes of Our Times and now on a rarity CD on the new set, this is Last Man Alive. <laughs> Tell you what I'm really knocked about about, particularly with the fact that your Christmas CD, which has been long overdue for a re-release, one of the best Christmas albums anybody ever did. No. That was a great, great Christmas album. Obviously had the hits on it, your number one. I, I mean, I play it every year and I always, you know, kick off my Christmas rock and roll session with, with a track from that CD because it's, uh, and it's good to see it out. Yeah, definitely. And it's, uh, it's a great opener, isn't it? I mean, uh, that was, if the, the alarm's not working, that'll wake you up, won't <laughs> it? They did a, a Top of the Pop special last week from 1985 and I had to smile when you spoke about going to Lapland and you say people still rib you about those jumpers you used to wear. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know where I got those jumpers from. I, I can only assume that I bought it when I was out there. Ah, I thoroughly not enjoyed it. I mean, it's not often you get to do a video in Lapland and uh, meet Father Christmas and all that. You Absolutely. Know, like, yeah. All, all the know, reindeers. Have a cup of coffee with Father Christmas and a break of that. And <laughs> it was great fun. Really, really was, you know. There's the kids there throwing snowball. And I throw a snowball at the snowman, which is obviously a, there's a man inside. And I kind of... <laughs> I purposely throw myself back and fall, fall <laughs> over. It makes me smile. I see that little girl waving. She's probably a granny now, you know. <laughs> she probably is, yeah. She probably is. Well, as we play your Christmas album, just leaves me to wish you and Sue a very happy Christmas. And, uh, uh, you know, let's hope this all gets settled and is all behind us as soon as possible for everybody. And uh, yeah. we can well, look forward to seeing live music again, especially your good self. 
if people uh, out there keep to the rules, they're distancing, wear their masks, yeah. and uh, don't be silly because uh, you know there's lives in danger. And sound advice, Shaky. Great to talk to you again. Uh, very merry Christmas, and uh, look forward to seeing you. I'm sure we'll be seeing you on TV all over the period on all the various Christmas shows in wearing those jumpers again. <laughs> I don't know about the jumpers, but I'll be on TV. <laughs> Lovely talking to you as always, Jeff. You take care and have a great Christmas. And uh, we'll meet up again in the in the in the new year when uh, the dreaded's gone. But we will talk in the new year. That's for definite. Brilliant, Shaky. Great to talk to you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye. Good old Shaky. In the role of honour of those who've had a Christmas number one from 1985. Merry Christmas, everyone. My thanks to him, and I hope he does well with all his various releases. Um, he said there, talking at the end, I said, oh, we see you on the TV all over, blah, blah, blah. I can tell you one thing he is on. This coming Friday, he's going to be live on The Last Leg on Channel 4. He and his band playing live this Friday night. I think it starts quite late, about half past 10, 11 o'clock, and runs up to about midnight, so Shaky's on then. Um, thank you, Rick, for letting me take over. I've got one more track I want to play, but I thought I'd better just... Uh Wish you the compliments of the season. No, absolutely right. I mean, I, w- I was there. I was trying to work out whether or not that was you doing the Jingle Bells and that shaky song, because you've, you've actually got some there, haven't you, I think? Yeah, he's I there, you here. see, yeah. There they are. God, dear. I, 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 you know, I'm I'm famous for being slightly Grinch-like, I have to say, but this year I, I'm loving it. I really am. Do you know that the best thing I've discovered this year, Jeff, as well, and I'm, I'm not sure I should really share this, but I've discovered... Uh, it's possible to get their salted caramel mince pies. <gasps> oh, oh, you're kidding. They're amazing. They are. Oh, oh really? my word. Oh. Oh. The problem is, one box <laughs> is never enough. <laughs> no, that's the trouble. Yeah, I know. So, yes. Well, I had a bit of a revelation. Oh, just go on, last yes. Week. yes. I, f- I found a, a giant box of Quality Street that I bought last year, which I'd forgotten about, put it in a cupboard, and it's still in date. <laughs> no. Really? Yes. Come on, it yes. lost about half an hour in my house, I think, but there you go. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes, well, well, Christmas, we're looking forward to it. to do yeah. a bit on the air with you. Yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it certainly has. Yeah, too long, too long. I'm sure we'll speak again at some time. Anyway, best wishes, happy Christmas. I've just got one more track I want to play. They've got a little dedication on this. My apologies first, I should have done this last week. Uh, hi to Finn. Uh, on behalf of his mum Minerva, otherwise known as the Prairie Godmother, from, get this, HMS Battenberg in Exeter. They wanted me to play a tune in, uh, in memory of Hector. It would have been his second birthday this uh, this week, just gone by. And it's with lots of love to Polly Go Lightly, Robin the Boy Wonder and Spike. All get a mention. My the tune, the one you wanted, the Beach Boys and Hushabye. 